welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we will design and assemble a simple back hoo see this is the simple back hoo at a kind of toy back hoo we will see what is the exactly co concept and how the piston and back hoo works see it will rotate in 360 degree and this two with the help of two cylinder We can dig anywhere. This is very important machine. I hope you like it. So just see how to sketch in SolidWorks. Now here we will make our first part arms. So let's start. Choose front plane. Sketch. Select center line and draw a horizontal center line. Make sure it is horizontal. Now select circle. Draw some circles here and one just above this circle. Exit. Now select this inside circle and this three circle make relation equal and this two outer bigger circle make relation equal now first assign the distance from here to this point 3050 and distance from this two dis two circles 610 mm Okay. Connect these two lines with the help of now select this distance 305 mm. Now let's define the diameter 254 mm. Keep this outer diameter inside circle 76 mm and this remaining one circle 102 mm ok now select a line and start from this point up to here and draw up to here and connect with this Again choose a line, start from here and end with this circle. Ok, choose trim entity, just trim this circle. Here also trim this circle. Now. Select this center point and this corner point and make relation vertical. Now define corner radius 410 mm. It's quite bigger. So make divide by 2 mm, 205 mm. This corner radius. Okay. Now select this center of this circle, uh, first center of this circle and this center of circle and make relation merge. Now it is merge here, ok. Now select this two lines tangent relation. Now our geometry is fully defined. Ok. Now you can see it's everything. Uh, one more distance balance. The distance from here to or
delete this relation at uh, this dimension Uh, delete this intersection relation. Okay. Now define this length. One nine seven zero. Okay. Now our geometry is fully defined. I hope you noted all the dimensions. Select extruded boss. Keep here mid plane. Make three hundred six mm. Okay. Now this arms body ready. Now select this face sketch normal. First draw a center line. Let's select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle. Okay. Now select these three line and make relation symmetric. Okay. Now let's define the dimension. Keep distance two hundred mm, and the distance from this line fourteen hundred ten mm. This is the actual requirement. Okay. And select extruded cut and cut uh, make the depth up to two hundred fourteen mm, not through all. Okay. Now you can see that's it. Now select this face sketch normal. Now. Select this circle and this inside circle, and just convert it. Choose line. Now continue a line up to here and connect with this. Now here we make the relation tangent. It's okay. Now define the distance. Twenty-one point three four mm. That's it. Okay. Now select extruded cut. Now how we will cut it here? First we will define this offset. Fifty-three mm inside. Now blind. We will cut two hundred mm. Select okay. Now see we cut it inside. Now select this inside face, sketch normal. Select here, or directly choose corner rectangle and draw a rectangle up to this corner, and define the distance from upper line. Forty mm. Okay, and select extruded cut. And we want to cut inside up to make the length twenty six hundred ninety mm. Must uh, it should pass through this circle. Okay. Now see a hole created inside. Now select this face sketch normal. Now first uh, we will draw a center rectangle. Center line. Now choose corner rectangle and draw a rectangle. Okay, select these three lines and make a relation symmetric. Fifty-three mm from outer line. The same here also by default. Okay, and we will keep the length. Twelve hundred thirty-nine point fifty-four mm. Now select 
extruded cut and here choose up to surface and we will select this inside surface see not through all ok now see now we will do one more thing select this face sketch normal select corner rectangle and start from this corner to this line and keep the distance from upper line 53 mm ok and select extruded cut and cut through all ok now see the hole is created here you can see so this is the our arms ready just uh, we will assign some material uh, go to appearance solid select yellow select feature and uh, we will define some color this one keep 200 now save this part go to desktop create a one folder back who ok now save one fast part number one arm so this is the first part of back who save uh, let's go for the next part now here we will make the next part base so first we have to create one plane so choose front plane go to reference geometry select plane and create a plane and keep the distance 355 mm from the front plane ok now select this plane sketch and we will select line and we will start from here connect with this line draw a circle ok and connect with this line now first we will define this 765 mm 285 mm draw a circle here five hundred ninety five mm one hundred two mm and this radius keep one hundred five mm okay okay now select this circle and this line make relation tangent select ok now our drawing is fully defined you can see select extruded boss and extrude up to 102 mm but make reverse direction ok that's it now select this top surface sketch normal and here we want to create a geometry select line select do one thing first hide this plane now select a line and select this end point this point and go a vertical and 
and draw a line up to here then draw a half circle and connect with this point exit now we will define the length 710 mm okay now select this point and this point vertical so both will be same tangent and here also both the tangent now let's define this circle 150 mm and keep radius 205 mm and distance from here to this line 495 mm ok now select a center line connect this mid line to this point and select this line and make relation horizontal now our geometry is fully defined ok and select extruded boss and extrude reverse direction 102 mm ok now we want to mirror this to another direction select front plane mirror make first geometry boss extruded one ok now see it is mirror now select this face sketch and we want to make this body here so just simply select sketch sketch to convert entities see select extruded boss keep reverse direction 102 mm merge bodies ok that's it see it is created now select front plane sketch normal now here we want to create a hook so select line again draw a hook make a parallel line to this connect here first we will make some relation parallel now define the angle 50 degree ok now select this circle and this line and make relation tangent now define the height 205 mm and keep outer dia one eighty ninety mm select circle and draw one circle inside and keep this diameter seventy six mm ok now this geometry is fully defined so select extruded boss but we don't want to make in center just make it offset 100 mm and keep width 75 mm ok now select front plane and we want to make mirror choose mirror and select this body ok now it is mirror now this is the base for back who now just define the color go to solid yellow and select edit appearance and here 250 by 200 this is the our exact color ok 
now save this part back who part number 2 base save let's move for the next part let's make the third part back who uh, back who bucket so select right plane sketch and start start from origin point a horizontal line and connect with this line select radius select this radius first we will define this length delete this distance okay now we will modify our all the dimensions now define this length 800 mm now just define the height 780 mm now make angle 60 degree three hundred six mm now define this circle one hundred fifty mm okay now drag this upward now define this length only 150 mm now see the geometry is fully defined okay select a line and here we want to create a teeth for bucket connect with this line now define 25 mm the overall length 160 mm the distance from this line 42 mm angle 160 mm now this is the teeth dimension okay now select extruded boss select this face and this face keep mid plane 1006 mm okay that's it now select this face sketch now define this gap 13 mm 120 mm okay select sketch linear pattern select this line as a axis and select here four lines keep the distance 183 we want six number of holes
make six number and this one we will reduce let's say 173 170 select ok now select this line convert and this full line convert entity this outer line also just convert it because this middle part we want to trim so choose trim entity and here select the 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this outer this is what we want to trim through all ok now that's it now select shell key 40 mm and select this face ok now see now we will make the hook for bucket so just select right plane sketch normal and uh, we will make a hook here so first select line and connect with this line now select these lines and convert it now we will define the gap first 144 mm 205 mm one hundred twenty mm okay select corner seventy five select this corner and this corner okay okay select circle and draw two circles here okay now select both the circle and make relation equal now define diameter 76 now define this gap 385 mm okay now our geometry is fully defined you can trim this extra part ok now select extruded boss first select offset 153 mm and extrude only up to 50 mm make sure merge result ok now see here select right plane mirror select this extruded part ok now our bucket is ready this is a simple bucket just like a toy bucket define the yellow color solid yellow color and edit appearance and here make hundred mm two hundred by two fifty five this is the our appearance okay now save it part number three bucket see it's simple let's move for the next part now here we will make the next part cylinder so choose front plane sketch now select center line first ok now select a line
let's start from end line connect here and connect with this point now we will define this make 90 mm 200 mm the overall length we will keep 1825 mm Seventeen hundred fifty mm. Okay. Now select fifty one mm, and this distance makes seventy five mm. Now our geometry is fully defined. So just revolve it. Select revolve boss base. Okay. Now see this is hollow. Choose front plane, sketch. And here in midpoint draw two circles. Seventy six mm and hundred and eighty mm. Okay. And select extruded boss keep mid plane 200 mm okay now again choose the same sketch select extruded cut select here through all both and select this inside circle only okay now see This color we will make little more dark. Okay. Now save it. Part number four. Cylinder. Let's make the piston for cylinder. So choose front plane, sketch, and select here corner rectangle and start from origin point. Draw a rectangle. Now select the height 51 mm and select the overall length 1800. Okay, now select revolve boss base. Select this bottom line okay choose front plane sketch now here we will make the mounting hook so draw two circles inside di diameter keep 76 mm and outside keep 180 mm okay and select extruded boss keep here mid plane 200 mm okay now we want to delete this inside unnecessary part so just select the same sketch extruded cut and here clear and select this inside circle only choose here through all both okay see now assign a material assign some steel material polish the steel save as part number 5 piston
let's make the next part pin so choose front plane sketch and select a rectangle and draw a rectangle from origin point okay and just keep the length 765 mm and radius we will prefer 75 mm okay and select revolve boss base select this bottom line as a axis okay now our pin is ready just we will define the material polished steel that's it now save this pin part number six pin okay so let's move for the next part now let's make the stabilizer the next part select right plane sketch first draw a center line draw a horizontal line make sure it is horizontal now draw two circle and the second and all and also keep draw two circles now hundred and fifty mm outer diameter and inner diameter keep seventy six mm okay now select uh, both the outer circle and make relation equal select both the inner circle and make relation equal now again choose line and select this length keep 460 mm okay now select a line and connect from one end to another and just mirror this line or even you can directly draw a sketch now this is the actual over geometry now select extruded boss and here we will prefer which area we want to extrude so we will select <coughs> this circles only and extrude up to 53 mm and here make offset we want offset 100 mm select ok now see now again select the same sketch extrude and here select this inside faces and extrude up to 41 mm and keep offset 106 mm ok now see again select the same sketch extrude now this time select this circle and select here up to surface and select this as a surface back side select ok now that's it now we want to mirror select mirror select right plane and select all these three extruded parts body geometry pattern ok now see now this is called stabilizer so just uh, make a color go to solid yellow edit and make uh, 200 ok now save this part save as part number 7 is stabilizer ok let's see the next part now here we will sketch the next part feather so let's start select front plane sketch first draw a center line ok 
again choose center line that's it now we will define the dimension the overall length should be 4525 mm okay now this distance from here 400 mm and this distance keep 875 mm and let's define the distance Two thousand seven hundred ninety five mm. Okay. Now select circle. Draw four circles about all the corners and draw a one circle this corner. Okay. now we will define this keep this outer radius diameter 300 and inner 102 mm okay now select this outer circle and this outer make relation equal the same select inner both the inner and make same relation 102 okay now select this diameter 76 mm okay now we will define the distance the gap let's say 2650 mm okay choose a line and connect with this line select line and connect this end to another end no uh, connect this line and this circle here we have to make a relation tangent okay do one thing delete this line again choose line and here we have to make relation tangent relation okay and this circle also need tangent relation now select this line and connect with this circle we have to make one relation select this line and connect one end to this end and make sure it is horizontal now here also define the tangent relation choose trim entity and delete this inside lines okay now we have to define the angle make 15 degree and select this angle 26 degree okay now select the distance from here to this line 305 mm draw a circle here
76 mm and the distance from this line 153 mm and keep the angle 45 degree this also same 45 degree now see our geometry is fully defined ok now we will extrude select extruded boss keep offset 150 mm and the thickness we prefer 100 mm ok now see now select back surface a sketch normal now select this outer line this circle and this line and just convert it choose a line and connect up to here now define the gap Seven hundred six mm. Okay. Now select offset entities. Key forty mm. Select this line, and select reverse inside direction. Okay. Choose a line and connect. Exit. Now this we will extrude this. extrude up to 300 mm ok that's it now select this face sketch normal first select this face this circles just convert it and draw two circles here keep the diameter 180 mm and select extruded boss and extrude up to 50 mm that's it now we want to make some cutouts here so what we will do one thing select first sketch and select extruded cut and here first we will select this face see select here surface select this surface and cut up to 50 mm ok now see we cut it here with the help of our first sketch now we will do some modification here edit make the height 53 ok and select this make 306 little bigger ok now select front plane mirror select first sketch delete third sketch ok now see it is mirror again choose first sketch extrude select this upper face cancel select sketch extruded cut because we want to cut so now select this face offset 50 mm select this face delete 
now here select surface face now select this face now we want to cut extrude select reverse 50 mm okay now see it is cut so now our feeder is ready see yellow and uh, this is your required color okay now save this part part number 8 feeder let's move for the next part now here we will make the last part tension bar choose front plane sketch and draw a center line make sure it is passes through origin select the origin point and this line and make relation midpoint now draw two circles both the end now make relation both the outer circle select equal the same relation inner circle equal now first define the gap 610 mm outer diameter 150 mm and inner diameter 76 mm okay now choose your center point arc connect draw a arc this circle to this circle again draw select this circle to this circle exit now we will define the radius 305 mm 460 mm make relation tangent it should be tangent now select origin point and this circle make in one line okay now select extruded boss select these two circles inside keep mid plane 76 mm okay now again select the same sketch extruded boss select this inside face mid plane and keep 50 mm okay now this is the tension bar for uh, back who we will assign some color like yellow and uh, make it orange so it will easily identify okay now save this last part number 9 tension bar now we will start the assembly i think this is not completed so in this region select
okay now save now we can go for assembly now let's start the assembly of back who choose new assembly now this is the window of assembly assembly let's browse the first part so first part we will keep pin okay now just adjust the window we will keep vertical now browse bring another part base okay now just rotate this base okay now choose mat select this pin and this hole and make relation concentric okay now select this face and pin face coincident now base fixed with pin see base will rotate around pin okay now the base is fixed so let's browse the next part feather okay now we will rotate it okay now select mat select this inside hole and this side hole make relation concentric okay now we will make one more relation select this face and this face select concentric relation coincident relation now see this is fixed here now we will browse cylinder and piston choose mat select this hole and this hole coincident relation concentric relation okay now select this face and this face Co coincident relation okay now we will fix cylinder so select this mounting hole and this hole concentric relation now select this face coincident relation okay now drop down select this inside hole and this and make relation concentric okay now select this and make transparent so we can easily watch inside mat and choose here distance we will define maximum and minimum distance so here select this face and select this edge and define 1200 by 500 okay okay now this is the maximum and minimum distance we defined so this is see it is not going beyond that and not going more than this okay now let's bring next part we will just do one thing make larger bring arms now rotate this arm
now here we will make some relation now select mat select this hole and this hole make concentric relation okay select this face and this face coincident relation okay now we will insert the next part bucket now we will try to fix the bucket here first rotate now drag near to this select mat select this hole and this hole coincident relation okay now select this face and inside face see coincident relation okay now browse the the next part is stabilizer and tension bar this is stabilizer and uh, bring one more tension bar choose mat select this face circle and this hole coincident relation concentric relation now just drag it select this face and this face coincident relation okay now select this hole and this hole okay select this hole and this hole concentric relation okay now see first select this face and this face okay now see it is matching here now uh, we forget to just delete these two relations here we want to make one more hole so we will do some editing this face click this part open part edit and here draw one more circle keep the diameter same 76 mm and select the distance 251 mm okay now see the hole is created now exit select save changes arm save changes in assembly yes now see a hole here created a hole now select mat select this hole and this hole okay select 
this phase cocentric coincident relation okay now press control key and copy one part here now we have to adjust this also coincident mat now select this hole and this hole okay now we have to define some more relation browse the another another two parts piston cylinder and piston okay first rotate this cylinder choose a mat select this hole clear this circle and this circle and coincident concentric relation select this face see it is fixed okay select this hole and this hole coincident re concentric relation select this face okay now here select this rod mat and select this inside hole okay concentric relation now the piston and rod everything fix see now our back who is ready this is the jcb back who see it is rotating this direction see it is rotating like this now save this assembly save as assembly back who assembly this is a a kind of toy but it is just a concept how the back who works i hope you will understand please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching